Um, congrats on the result. You must be delighted with that. I'm really proud of um, what the boys did today in an extremely difficult um, stadium against a great opponent and playing 70 minutes with um, with 10 men. Um, it was about the fight, the spirit, the commitment, and about the quality that they showed to play a game that um, is not in our strength, is not what we trained, but it was what it was necessary to win. And uh, I asked them, I want to see a team here that plays with emotion, that transmits um, everything that we talked about every day. And, uh, and I've seen that today, so I'm really happy. I know you said just now on TV that you haven't seen the red card back yet. But, um, well, firstly, have you had a chance in a few minutes since? And secondly, what are the boys saying about it in the dressing room? No, I haven't seen it. I went to the interviews outside and now here, so I cannot judge it because uh, I haven't seen the action. And just finally for me, um, does this make you favourites now, going in, into a home leg, second leg, with um, with the tie boys? We play half-time, even probably less than that, and, uh, and we need another game. And um, it's an extraordinary opponent. Uh, we got a result that uh, with the circumstances, um, we have to consider that it's positive, but we have a red zone leg and uh, we're going to need everybody back. And we're going to need to create a great atmosphere at the Emirates um, with the fans, hopefully, that travel today, that they made incredible noise and give us incredible energy and, um, and put a real game there to try to get into that final. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. We'll go to Nick Callow, please. Evening, Mikhail. Is whatever way you look at it, it was an impressive performance considering Granite was sent off so early. And that, I guess, makes it even harder going into Sunday's match with him suspended. Yes, but we came here and we are missing nine or ten players already. But um, listen, we don't know what, what to expect the next day. So we cannot be looking at that and, and all the time having to fall into that and use it as an excuse. We have to play games. This is our job. We know the context that we are in, and it can change, and it can change to a, to be in a in a more uh, difficult position. But um, the team has to rebuild, and we have players that uh, are with that desire to play. And on Sunday again, we'll try to do the same thing. I don't know how bad Bakayo Saka is, but it must have been quite bad for him to come off. Is there any chance you could ask for Sunday's match to be postponed with all these injuries and COVID? I he he felt something in the last minute. He was really fatigued, and um, and I don't know. He's a young boy, and he recovers pretty quickly. But he's played a lot of minutes in the last months. So uh, let's see with available. Okay, good stuff. Cheers. Thanks, Nick. We'll just take a couple more now. Firstly, Sam Wallace. Arsenal teams have been criticised in the past for a bit of a lack of fight in difficult situations. What, how would you summarise what has changed, especially with this group of players, given that performance? Well, when you come to a stadium like this, I say to them that um, you have to pick players that you are happy to go to war because you're going to have a fight. You're going to have difficult moments. You're going to have moments where you have to suffer. And um, it's about how you approach those moments. If you reveal yourself, if you are willing to help your team, if you are willing to accept that in some moment you're not going to play the game that you want, uh, and then good things are going to happen. So when you play with that spirit and fight and brotherhood around the team, um, at the end, you get rewarded. And I think that will happen today. Thanks, Sam. And finally, we'll go to Simon Collins. Hi, Mikel. Hi. Uh, last month, you had some games, you were winning sort of 5 6 nil. but how does the satisfaction from a result like this compare to that? Well, it's completely different because uh, the circumstances, the context, where we played, who we played against uh, is very different. And uh, and you have to evaluate the result um, in each game. And uh, what we've done today for 70 minutes um, is extremely difficult to do and, um, and shows how much we want it. And we want to get into that final. And today was the first step to have the possibility in the second game to, to finalize it. Just on, on Sunday, obviously, Cedric's went off injured tonight. Have you, have you got any fears for the game against Tottenham not going ahead? I don't know. It's a possibility in, in every game from our side, from the opponent's side, because um, the amount of uh, issues that everybody's having and because it's happening every week. But uh, we try to prepare the games thinking always that we're going to play. If something happens along the way, um, it's what it is. Thanks, Kel. Thanks, Simon. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. See you soon.